Hello, welcome to Be Nice and Collect. So we have here Nami by Mega House. This is the Playback Memories version. I got this from a trade with my Nandroids. Shout out to Boss Glenn for this smooth trade. So what are we waiting for? Let's take her out of the box. As usual, this figure is stored in a hard clamshell. As you can see, she comes with an extra head and extra left arm. And here is our Nami, looking gorgeous. This is actually my favorite outfit of hers which was also used during the live action. Let's deep dive into its details. As for her hair, this is painted so orange and it's so vibrant. The finish is so clean as expected by Mega House. As for her face, this is like the end time Mega House made Nami, so they have mastered her face and expression. As mentioned earlier, this comes with an extra head. I prefer this version. This reminds me of her bounty poster photo. As for her outfit, it's a simple shirt and skirt with minimal design. I love how they put some shadows to her hands, elbows, knees, which looks realistic. As you can see, her nails are also painted. You can see how this is carefully painted by Mega House. Mega House gave a shine to her boots, which looks very classy. The base is quite distracting as it's bright orange. It is sharing the limelight of the main figure. At the back, the quality of the paint is similar in other parts. Again, there are undertone shadows on the parts of her elbows and knees which makes realistic. As for this wooden stick, it does looks like wood, as they painted it that way. As this comes with an extra left arm, I'm a bit confused which pose is better, especially this pose reminds me of her bounty poster. I noticed on her legs there is like a bruise-like paint. I even have to ask a friend who is a One Piece fan if Nami have bruises on her legs. This is probably a manufacturer defect. For size comparison, here is with a Nandoroid. Size comparison next to a pop-up parade figure. Size comparison next to a 1-8 scale Mega House figure. Size comparison next to a 1-8 scale Kotobukiya figure. All in all, I am happy with this trade as I was planning to buy this figure as this is my favorite outfit of hers. Plus, you can exchange the parts. The figure is so simple, yet it delivers what Nami is. I give this figure 7 out of 10 because of the base which is distracting. I just wish the base has a neutral color. This figure was released June of 2021 at a standard retail price of 11,000 yen. She stands approximately 8.9 inches. This figure gives me wholesome vibes yet still sexy. I highly recommend this figure, most especially you are a fan of One Piece. There are other great Nami figures out there, it's just a matter of preference. So that's it guys, thanks for watching this video. Shout out to Toy Unboxing family, friends and viewers. See you in my next video. Keep safe everyone. Bye bye.